Often when you're creating shopping carts, it's useful to create buttons like an update cart and a clear cart button that will actually do things that you need to have done, functions that, that you need to have run on your cart. Um, so the first function I want to talk about is the update cart. Um, so the update cart function, when you're looking at your PHP code, um, you'll just add the update cart function, function update cart to your code. When you're updating the cart, you're really trying to delete all of the quantities that you had recorded for each of the items in your cart um, and then reset those quantities to the new values that you're entered. So if I change this and said I don't really want five copies of this fleece pullover, I only want two, and I update the cart, essentially I deleted all of the quantities I had before, I updated all of them, and um, this value changed because I now am only being charged for two items. So the way I do that is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset um, my quantity array. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go, I'm going to set my session quantity array, essentially overwrite the array with a brand new blank qual co copy of my array. Then I'm going to get all of the quantities from my quantity text boxes. Since I created my quantity text boxes up here as quantities with square braces, it will treat those quantity text boxes as an array. So when I get the, the thing named quant and I store it in the variable quant A, it's essentially going to treat that as an array. Um, I'm also going to create a, a counter variable um, so I can see which item I'm looking at in the cart in case I need to do um, delete an item from the cart. So I'm going to just set my counter variable to i equals zero. Um, I'm going to loop through all of the items in my shopping cart using a for each loop. So a for each loop will allow me to actually go in and for each item in my quantity array, I'm going to get each item out and name it Q. I'm going to let's before I forget, let's put in my closing curly brace. Um, so the first thing I want to do is if if the quantity is greater than zero. So if the quantity that you have input is bigger than zero, then I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that quantity straight out to my quantity array. And I'm going to increment my counter so that I um, know that I've got that many items now in my array. So it doesn't matter you know, how much you've set it to. If you go from 1 to 25 or 25 down to, to 2, it's going to just update your cart to reflect that new quantity. However, if I reset my quantity to 0, I don't want to just have an item with a zero value in my cart, it looks a little s stupid. So if I wanted to go in and reset and said, oh, I, I wanted the size seven and a half, not the size seven, I'm going to change that to zero and I click my update cart. I want that item to disappear from my cart entirely. So I'm going to do something slightly different if the quantity is actually zero. So if else, I'm going to take an else, create an else statement and other, so if I don't have a quantity, if my quantity is zero, what I want to do is I want to delete that item from all of my other arrays and not add it to my quantity array. So what I will do is I am going to actually go in and I'm going to use the array splice method on each of my other arrays that I'm currently looking at. So I'm going to take my product array and I'm going to say essentially delete the item at the index i because I've been counting the last i. Um, I'm going to delete the item at index i. I'm only going to delete one item. So the next one item from my array. So what it's going to do is it's going to take and essentially move everything else over one item. So I'm going to do an array splice on the product, the size, the color, and the price. And the array splice is just a, a shortcut function to take it, to allow you to take one item out of an array, two items out of an array. You can actually delete everything to the end of the array and add a new array on the end if you want. So what I'm doing here is essentially taking one item, the item at index i, out of the array. Once I've done that, um, I'm really done with my update cart function. That's everything that I had to do. Um, 
So the next function I want to create is the clear cart function. So the clear cart function is really simple. And I'm going to just um, paste it all here so you can see what it's going to look like. The clear cart function is just going to unset all of the um, session variables that I've already created. Um, so essentially they're going to take all of the values out. Once those are all unset, then we will essentially, it will give me and I have an empty cart message. So if I save that and I refresh this over here, and I go clear cart will refresh reload oops I redeleted the same item if I go update cart or no if I go clear cart it's gonna take out my all of my other variables and it's gonna tell me my cart is empty so that's what my clear cart function does I'm gonna add something back to my cart just so I have something in there note to call the functions the update function and the clear cart function, you can't call these functions directly from within the web page when you click the button just because this is PHP code that exists on the server and it's not embedded in this client side page. So you have a couple of options when you're choosing to call the code. The first option is to use something like a submit button. The advantage of the submit button is it will submit the form back to the page so you have access to all of the data on the form. This will work very well for when you are updating the cart because you want to be able to get the updated quantities out of the te quantity text boxes. Um, however, you can only really have one submit button on the page and unless you have a separate button where it sets some sort of hidden form element you can't really have a second submit button that does something different really than the initial submit button. So if you have two different things you want to do on a page, for example, update and clear cart, you can also create a button with a click event and have that click event reload the page. So um, the way the button, the clear button is set up on my cart is it's got an on click window location href which is just JavaScript code that will reload the page and it's essentially calling going to redirect you to the current page cart.php and it's going to add a parameter clear equals one which will be used by the page to say oh they're calling this page and they want me to use um, clear the cart when I load this page. You'll notice that I use backslashes to escape the um, the single quote that the JavaScript requires you to have around the name of the page you're redirecting to. Um, and that's because this on click will be embedded in a larger string that, that is inside of single quotes. And so if you want a single quote to write out inside double inside single quotes, you have to use a backslash. In my cart.php, um, I'm going to use the um, the following if statement. Um, so I'm going to say if it's if the quantity um, text boxes are set via a post request. So if I'm essentially calling this page using the submit button and I'm reposting the quantity um, text boxes to this, then I want to call the update cart function. Um, if otherwise, if the variable um, in as a parameter, which is used via get, if the clear variable is set, then I want to call the clear cart function. Otherwise, I'm calling this from probably either another page or I'm just randomly generating this page by browsing to it, in which case I'm going to go ahead and call the add to cart function and add any items that are being posted to this page um, to the, the cart. Now, um, so that this is kind of what this is going to look like in the regular page. Um, after I do each one of these functions, then I'm going to call the right cart function. So I'm going to update the cart and then rewrite the cart out, or I'm going to clear the cart or re and rewrite it out, or I'm going to add to the cart and rewrite it out. If I go to the checkout page, I can fill in all of this data. Um, Um, fill in some faux data here. Um, I see my shopping cart now. It does not show me the update cart and the clear cart buttons because I don't want to see those buttons in my um, cart. Um, but when I complete my order, I'm going to actually 
show you my cart, um, my completed cart, and then if I were to reload this page, you'll see that I um, don't get my cart the second time because after I reload my cart, I want to essentially call the clear cart. Once I've bought something, I want to essentially clear my cart so that I don't actually have any items in my in my shopping cart. Um, on this final page, it's actually useful if I actually edit my um, let's look at my final copy. Edit my right cart function and add this extra line to it. Um, if I pass this right cart method a uh, product ID, so if the product ID is greater than zero, uh, I mean uh, an order ID, meaning this is actually part of an order, then I want to go ahead and I want to place the order which essentially is just going to write all of the details about the product I just purchased into my um, order details table. I'm going to update my inventory to decrease the quantity by the amount I purchased. So this is just a little shortcut um, to um, so I don't have to loop through the cart to write the cart out and then also loop through the cart to write all of the data to um, my to my database. So I just am writing the data to my database as I loop through my, my shopping cart when I write out my shopping cart. Um, that was just something I, I added um, just to make my code somewhat more efficient. But th these are all the pieces you really need. The add to cart, the write a cart function, um, and then the update cart and the clear cart to actually create um, a fully functional PHP shopping cart. On my checkout to page, which is where I'm actually writing out my whole order, the way I would call this function is I would create an order ID. When I go and I write my cart out, I write the cart out, pass it my order ID. Once I've written my cart out, see I call my clear cart function to empty the cart so I don't buy the same products twice.